the number one long form writer that helps SEOs outrank competition at the click of a button using real time research and NLP. Start ranking content today with content at scale.ai. Wix Studio, one end to end web creation platform for your agency to deliver exceptional work with absolute efficiency. Sorry, you guys, sorry, we can never be too careful. You can't be too careful. You look a little suspicious. Are you with them? Keep an eye on this one. I don't trust this one. Hi, um, my name is Anthony. I, I normally talk in social media events, but today I'm risking everything to be here today to talk to you at Brighton SEO because I've discovered the secret weapon to content marketing on LinkedIn. And it's got to do with SEO. I don't think the LinkedIn police is very happy that I've crossed the line to come and tell you about it. So they've sent their people after me. I've got to make sure the coast is clear before I start. So hang on, let me, let me check with my team. Okay, I think we're good. I think we're good. By my estimation, I should have about 20 minutes before they discover my location. So it's not a lot of time, but I'm going to be able to tell you what the secret weapon is, and more importantly, how to use this so we can capture this content opportunity that we've got in front of us right now. Because people, we've got a problem. Twitter has somehow managed to transform itself from being the home of toxic hustle culture to a place where, corp where companies can actually genuinely find opportunities. I'm like serious. Take a look at their user base. For the last five years, that's nearly doubled. And every year they add, they manage to add 10% or more on top of that. And what's even more impressive is that almost half of all social media traffic that goes to B2B websites come from LinkedIn. This thing is a beast. Do you guys realize how much it hurts me to have to say this? I used to hate LinkedIn. Four years ago, I wouldn't even touch it. But now I can't deny its possibilities. So, so then what is the problem? Well, it's not companies attracting people to their pages to get them to follow them. Here's some companies from all over the world and some of their followings. You got a company in California with 107,000 followers, a company in France with a million, a company in Bangalore and India with three million. So the problem isn't getting followers, but if you look at how the followers engage with their content, I think we'll start seeing a different picture. So these are different companies with their followings, their content, and how it's being engaged. And I think we can all agree that a company with 875,000 followers on the page can do a little better than 17 likes. And if we look at that engagement further, we'll see that most of that engagement actually comes from their own staff members. This, is, this means that the content, they've put so much time and effort and resources into creating so they can reach your target audience and reach decision makers actually isn't reaching that, that audience at all. And I think, I think that's a real shame. Now, is it the company's fault? Or maybe, maybe it's the algorithm. And I hear rumors from time to time from people. They'll come and tell me, and I don't think, I've heard that you know, LinkedIn doesn't work for company pages. It's all about personal branding. Well, I'm about to introduce you to two companies that will dispel those rumors for you right now. First, we've got Monzo. Now, I've had Monzo on my slides way before I knew Ray from Monzo was going to be speaking here. So 100% pure coincidence. But Monzo has a very unique way of keeping their audience engaged on LinkedIn. They have a very irreverent tone of voice for, in their brand, so they're able to capitalize on that and share humorous content about office life that keeps their audience engaged. So that by the time they, they share something very important, like their uh, research with YouGov on the right here, their audience is already captivated and they're ready to engage with that big piece. Well, what about DeWalt? I mean, who would have expected a manufacturing brand to do well on any social media, let alone LinkedIn? But they managed to get their audience on LinkedIn very excited about power drills. And their secret is that they know exactly why their audience loves their brand, their products, and they invest in high quality images and videos to bring those points to life. Now those guys are doing amazingly well, but don't try to copy them. Their strategies work for them because it plays to their strengths. And they also have leadership buy-in to get the resources they need to do what they need to do. If we try to copy them now, it's gonna take us ages to try and get right. And let's face it, good luck trying to get sign off on that. What we need 
It's a solution that works for every single one of us in this room right now. A secret weapon that takes, that turns, uh, gets, creates content for us, a flow of content that speaks to our own brand strengths, our own brand's values, and more importantly, wakes up our audience on LinkedIn. Now, would you be surprised if I told you that the secret weapon is your SEO content? Of course not, it wasn't my titles. <laughs> but all your content, all your SEO content, now you've got blogs, white papers, uh, webinar roundups, PR stories, all that content is actually perfect fuel to light up your LinkedIn. Now, I'm very aware that I'm the social media guy at an SEO event, so I'm not even going to pretend to be teaching you how SEO works. But here's my simple understanding of it. We want, we are, we want our content to rank high on search so that we're visible to our target audience, especially when they're searching for something that our brand can offer them better than anyone else. And the more traffic that comes in from there, the more it means that that audience has a chance to see, read, and understand what our brand has to offer. For our content to rank high, the search gods judge our content by four factors. You've got experience, expertise, authoritiveness, and trust, I can't even say that right. Authoritativeness and trustworthiness. But this is the search engine trying to decide whether or not your content is useful for someone who's searching those terms. The more useful it is, the more likely it is to rank higher. That means for us to do that, or for our content to do that, we need to be able to create content from our audience's perspective and really have and write content from the lens where we understand what our, con, uh, what our audience finds value in. That's incredible if you think about it. That means that you right now have a bank of content you know your audience really cares about because it's ranking high on, on search. Now the crazy thing is that what makes SEO content work well is the same thing that will make your LinkedIn content work well as well. That's why it's a secret weapon. And that's what the LinkedIn police don't want you to know about because once you know this, it's going to make your LinkedIn so much easier to do, like it's borderline cheating. Well, I'll, I'll show you this by breaking down how LinkedIn works in content. We post LinkedIn on content because we want more of our target audience to see, read, and understand about our brand. And the more impressions our content get, the more chance our audience gets to do that. And in order for our content to get more impressions, LinkedIn judges that content by how much engagement it attracts. So stuff like likes, comments, if they're swiping through the carousel, if they're watching through the video, all those things are factors for LinkedIn to decide if this piece of content is worth their while to reward more impressions. And if it's not engaging, they actually will pull back the impressions. That means that we need to be creating content from our audience's perspective and through a lens where our audience understand our audience what they really have value for. That sounds a little bit familiar. And it should because SEO and LinkedIn shares the same DNA when it comes to content. All that SEO content you have right now, that's all that value that you're, you're offering to your, your, um, your audience, that's what they're looking for in LinkedIn. Now, I can feel probably half of you are looking at me like, and that can't be right because we're already doing that. We're, throwing, we're, we're, we're sharing our blogs, and we're sharing our white papers on LinkedIn, and that's the content that's bombing. Well, I'll tell you something. When it's one thing to know what the secret weapon is, but it's another to know how to use it. So let's go through how we can use this. The first thing we need to recognize is that different platforms need to be created for differently. With long form content, like how our SEO content sits, People are searching, actively searching for that content on, on, uh, online, and they're prepared to spend significant amount of time to read it because they're actively searching for it. On social media, we don't have that luxury of time. Let's go through a simulation so we can kind of figure out how this works. Let's say we're looking for UX design and, um, and really trying to understand more about the key metrics of how to measure it. We'll get to a page like this. And it has 1,700 words, which isn't uncommon. Those 1,700 words, on average, would take us seven minutes and 30 seconds to read. And we're prepared to do this because we've actively searched for this subject. But on social media, where 
On LinkedIn, where the average time spent on the platform is seven minutes and 38 seconds, that's not just on your content, that's on every single piece of content they come across at that time. You can start to see why it's so hard to engage with them when we've got a piece that takes more time to read than they're prepared to put, uh, put time into uh, to spending with you. But the truth is, social media is a powerful tool where you can grab and retain people's attention. But we need to be able to grab their attention in the first place. And we don't have a lot of real estate on LinkedIn to be able to do that. On LinkedIn, by default, only the first, they will only first show the first two lines of your caption. So your audience only has that and whatever accompanying visuals they have to judge your content and see if that's worth their while to, to engage with. So I would say you've got under two seconds to make an impression to stop them from scrolling away and it's not a lot of time and we need to be able to make the most out of that time. So to do that, we need to prioritize our content to do two very important things. The first thing is that we need them to stop scrolling away because I don't care how great your white paper is, if no one's stopping to read it, it does not matter. Uh, I think humans are very vain creatures and we don't like paying attention to things until we realize what's in it for us. And so the problem is that as marketers, a lot of us are conditioned to write and share about our company and our brand first, like our USPs and what we're good at. But doing that with our two seconds on LinkedIn is a great way to make sure your audience just scrolls past you. We need to flip that habit and we need to be able to write from our audience's perspective and their interests first. So let's take this post as an example. And this post is written sort of for the audience, but it's more of a disguise. I think it's really just listing its capabilities and probably more about who they like to make money from. The blog that it links to actually addresses a very, uh, very important subject that the audience would really care about. So instead of writing about themselves, why not start with that subject first? That's how we're gonna be able to stop them from scrolling. The second thing after we have managed to grab their attention is that we need them to spend more time with our content. We need to be able to reward our audience's curiosity with value that's directly on the platform. Don't tease them with a solution to their problems and then ask them to click and go somewhere else to find out in the blog. We need to be able to give them just enough on LinkedIn and in a way that's easy to digest so that they can engage with it. And we'll go back to our example to, to illustrate this. So with this post, after we managed to, grab, to change the first two lines to grab our audience's attention, we could continue the post by writing with more enthusiasm, with more optimism, and then asking them to hit the blog, but I don't think that's the best, way, that best thing that we can do. We can actually break down the blog post into its subplots and put it in a carousel so that our audience can leisurely scroll through the content. Some stories are even better done well with, uh, with video. And if you can get a person to speak directly to, the, to camera, these videos are sometimes one of the best things to do to create trust quickly on LinkedIn. Now, those are some ways to, to use our secret weapon, but there's also another way. We can actually generate even more content from your LinkedIn than you imagine with our secret weapon. Because let's go back to our, our post here. Every long piece of long content we have, within those, that long content are short stories that you can break into individual posts. And every time you have a new post, it's a new opportunity to build trust and authority with your audience. On this piece we got here, I count at least five. And we were able to create quality content consistently that's when we're really using the power of LinkedIn, which is to be able to build brand awareness, drive engagement by telling compelling stories throughout time. Now, I love coming to events like Brian SEO. Get so inspired, but sometimes when you, we go back to your office, we're not sure what to do with it. So before I go, and I gotta go because the LinkedIn police is still after me, <laughs> I'm gonna show you three ways we can apply this when you get back to the office. 
First, if you're, if you're struggling for content and you're publishing on LinkedIn like once a month, now it's the time to get your red hot SEO content into the hands of your social media team. Working in silos is a classic corporate problem and we need to be able to break that silo between the content team and the social media team so that they're always in sync and they're talking to each other, have regular meetings and they know what content they have on hand and they know what content's coming down the pipe. And when you're able to get that flow of content going, that's when you'll be able to start building, and get, building momentum for your LinkedIn. If your content isn't getting the reach or impressions that it should be getting, now is the time to step back and take a look at what's going on so you know how to fix it. When I work with my clients, I like giving them a review of their content from the last three months. This gives us that, this gives us that big picture so that we can see what content has been working, what opportunities we've been missing, and more importantly, how we're going to take those learnings and create a strategy to get that content flowing. And if you're sitting here and you're in leadership position and you're ready to take your LinkedIn to the next, next step, talk to your team and make sure that they have the right resources, expertise, and support to be able to do this next step. Because from experience, I've been in social media teams where, where we have we're always last to be brought into a project and we're last to get any resources. And that makes it incredibly hard for your team to do their best work. So find out from your team whether or not they have that expertise and the support. And if they don't, give me a shout. I've, I've created my business to support other business through content, through strategy, and through coaching so that we can start making LinkedIn work for you. Now the really important thing is that they're here. Um, oh, I've got so much more to tell you. Oh, this is annoying. Tell you what, guys, I'm going to try and lose them and I'll meet you guys back here after Ray and Meg's uh, uh, presentations. Um, in the meantime, if we lose communications, find me on LinkedIn, send me a message. <laughs> they can't find me there, it's so ironic. <laughs> but connect with me there, I'll see you guys. If there's anything, just let me know. But for now, you have the weapon. Godspeed. Monthly reporting making you want to shove sharp things up your nose? Try Dragon Metrics, the all-in-one SEO software with mind-blowing reporting tools.